Good morning, class. This morning, we will discuss all about the milliampere second. So, when we say again milliampere second, this is a combination of two of the four uh, radiographic exposure technique factors. So, let's again uh, enumerate the four technical factors. So, we have KVP, the MA, we have exposure time, that is in terms of second, and we have the source to image receptor distance or the SID. So again, may I repeat, when we say milliampere second, that is combination of the two technical factors, milliampere and exposure time. Okay, before we move on with our discussion, let's have a short review of the technical factors or our review based on our discussion on the overview of exposure factors. So we said before that milliampere is defined as the current flow through the cathode filament at the time of the exposure. So before you forget, ipapaalala ko lang sa inyo that during our discussion, we have defined ampere as the electrostatic charge flowing each second in a conductor. So charge, which is in terms of Coulomb, and each second, so Coulomb per second. Again, for every 1 ampere, there is 1 Coulomb per second. Or there are 6.3 times 10 raised to 18 electrons per second. Aside from that, we said that an increase in MA will increase the amount or the current flow and the temperature of the filament will rise. So remember class that um, there is the phenomenon, diba? we termed it the thermionic emission. This is the emission of electrons by application of heat. So therefore, an increase in MA will increase current flow and the temperature of the filament will also rise. So an increase in temperature will definitely increase the emission of electrons or increase the uh, occurrence of the thermionic emission. That is why number two is a confirmation of uh, our uh, explanation. So with a constant exposure time, MA controls the X-ray quantity and therefore the patient radiation dose. So remember here, again, class quantity. So that is the primarily or primarily controlled by MA because the quality is being controlled by, again, what exposure factor? So very good, the kilovolt peak or the KVP. Okay. So now let's move on. So often, X-ray imaging systems are identified by maximum X-ray tube current possible. Uh -oh. Kasi when you apply for a license to operate a um, X-ray equipment, actually, tinitingnan ng DOH yung capacity ng X-ray machine mo. Una, as to the kilovoltage capacity, kung um, ano yung ino-offer na kilovoltage, and of course, the MA na ino-offer ng inyong machine. So like for example, here in our institution, our MA is um, set at 200 MA, uh, maximum MA na yon. So, yun yung na-offer ng X-ray machine. Which means, pwede na tayong makapag-perform ng iba't ibang procedure ranging from extremities, chest, abdomen, and the skull. Or pwede na tayong makapag-perform uh, ng mga special radiographic procedures. Capable yung machine. So, Inexpensive radiographic imaging systems designed for private physicians' offices normally have a maximum, yan, maximum capacity of 600 MA. Yan, if your x-ray machine is already 600 MA, medyo um, pwede mo na yung ipagmayabang. Bongga-bongga na yan. But mind you, before you... Uh, install a 600 MA X-ray equipment, kailangan capable yung uh, supply ng kuryente natin dito sa, uh, sa inyong place. Hindi tulad dito na nasa brownout capital tayo ng Pilipinas, joke only, 
But pansin nyo naman, every now and then, nagkakaroon tayo ng brownout, meaning mababa yung supply ng kuryente sa ating extra equipment. So in other way around, uh, the supply itself of power or the electricity won't be sufficient para sa capacity ng makina nyo. In other way around, yun, pwede nyo yung ikabag down o kasira ng or malfunction ng extra equipment. So, interventional radiology imaging systems may have a capacity of 1,500 MA. Again, we said here, interventional radiology. So, interventional radiology, yung department mo is parang operating room na siya in a way. Kasi magpa-perform ka na, sabi nga dito, interventional. So, meaning may mga hiwa-hiwa na sa radiology department. So, examples niyan, like um, digital subtraction and geography, yun, mga nagtitreat, uh, ano pa, mga interventional, uh, like magtitreat tayo ng embolism, aneurysm, with respect to, um, yun, yung capacity ng uh, radiology department. Pero dito sa Region 8, I don't think so na may IR tayo dito. Sa Manila, marami yan. Okay, so, milliampere is the factor of choice to control the amount of blackening on the radiograph. But we have the term photographic or optical quality. So, to, uh, ano tawag nito? Uh, okay, so, to identify the blackening on the radiograph. So, that is the photographic or optical quality which is uh, controlled by, of course, the milliampere. In other words, the amount of blackening or this is the optical density. So, when we say optical density, that is primarily controlled by MAS. Yes, MAS, combination again of milliampere and exposure time. The MA can be manipulated to control the blackening without producing significant changes in scatter radiation. Because, sabi nga natin, scatter radiation is controlled by the amount of kilovolt peak. However, an increase in MA will generally increase the amount of exposure absorbed by the patient. Kaya nga, sa ating... Uh, Radiation protection, kailangan the lowest possible MAS combined with the highest KVP. Kasi may mga remedies naman tayo when it comes to scatter radiation. So, low yung number of photons, pero mas mataas yung penetrability or the energy of the radiation. Kuha. So, if your you are after the blackening on the radiograph, actually, pwede yan sa KVP, kaya KVP affects uh, the optical density and at the same time, it controls the radiographic contrast. But again, if you are just after the blackening, so pwede sa MAS or MA yung technical adjustment factor mo. So, what else? Oops. So, a change in MA does not change the kinetic energy of electrons flowing from cathode to the anode. It does not change, again, the kinetic energy because energy is controlled by what technical factor? Yes, it's the KVP. So, it simply changes the number. So, magkaiba yung uh, energy. So, when we say energy, we are talking about the quality. And the number, we are only talking about the quantity. So consequently, the energy of x-rays produced is not changed. Again, only the number of x-ray is changed. Kaya nga, we said that KVP, yan, controls the quality, di ba? And at the same time, it affects the quantity. Yan, controls quality. And at the same time, uh, nakaka-affect siya sa affects quantity. So, however, MAS only controls the quantity. But it does not affect the quality of photons. 
Okay, remember that class ha? Kutub sa iyo kaarog nga radtech ka mo. KVP can control the quality and at the same time affects the quantity. But MAS, wala siyang pake sa quality. Only, it only change the number or the quantity of photon. Okay? So, magkaiba class yung radiographic quality, yung appearance ng film, at saka photon quality. Pag-uusapan din natin yan sa mga susunod na pagkakataon. O, diba? Next. Ito? Ba't parang ayaw makipasama ng slides? So, in the evaluation of radiographs, so one can expect to see a proportional relationship between film blackening and the MA selected. If the MA is doubled, for example, from 200 to 400, so the amount of blackening on the film is doubled. Bakit? Kung naaalala nyo, ano ba yung minimum change ng, uh, ng, okay, ng MAS or MA na pwedeng mag-result ng visible change sa radiograph? If you still remember that class, sige nga. Very good. So, at least 30 to 35% must be made to, uh, to see a change in blackening on the film. So, if the MA is changed from 200 to 100, of course, nag-decrease tayo ng 200%. So, pasok sa oh, diba, minimum 30 to 35%. So, Okay, so if the MMA is changed to 200 to 100, so the amount of blackening on the film is reduced by one half. So changes in the amount of blackening on the film can be subtle. However, the increase or decrease in MA must be great enough to produce a visible change in the amount of blackening on the film. So generally, ulitin natin, a change of at least 30 to 35% must be made to see a change on the blackening on the film. So you can compute naman that. Um, MAS, okay, so... Or, uh, I compute mo yung uh, initial and then yung change mo na MAS. So, if nagkaroon ka ng at least 30 to 35% na increase, so there is um, a change in the blackening or the change of optical density difference or, uh, or yeah, uh, change in optical density on that radiograph. Parang nahirapan ako mag-explain doon. So, an increase in MA yields a greater number of electrons in the space charge. So, again, if you still remember what is space charge. Mm-hmm. Oh, ang galing-galing. O, oh, diba? Nakikipag-usap na ako. So, space charge. This refers to the number of electrons around the filament of an atom following... Uh, atom? Uh, 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 electrons around the filament following the thermionic emission. So, the increase in MA will increase the amount of X-ray photons produced in the target anode kasi mas, mag, ma, mas marami yung electrons na magta-travel going from the uh, cathode going to the anode. An increase or decrease in MA representative, represented a quantitative factor. Quantity, not quality. So, meaning we are only after the number of X-rays that are being produced. What else? So, it is important to understand that an increase in MA does not affect the energy of photons produced at the target. Again, energy. So, we are talking here about the KVP. So, the purpose of increasing MA is to increase the number of electrons available to travel from the cathode to the anode that is, uh, that will result in producing more photons. Okay, that's, that's points to consider, no? So, now we have the term focal spot blooming. Sana all blooming. Kumusta na kayo, class, mga girls? Blooming pa ba kayo or natotoxic na kayo sa ating uh, first semester ng school year? Hindi pa naman. Chill-chill nga lang, di ba? So, milliampere and kilovoltage selections may affect the function and size of the focal spot. The blooming yeah, an effect is an increase in the actual focal spot size with an increase in the tube current. 
Bakit nagkakaroon yan? So, significant increase in the MA may produce focal spot blooming and focal spot blooming is an increase in the focal spot size when the tube current increases kasi nagkakaroon siya ng drastic na emission ng photons. So sabi nga dito, 'di ba, blooming, paano ka nagblo-bloom? So typically parang yung presentation niya is nagre-red. So meaning masyado nang mainit yung focal spot. So there is an increase in actual focal spot size. So what will happen is Okay, so increase ng focal spot size. Okay, so nagiinit parang uh, yun nga, nagkakaroon ng uh, abnormality sa x-ray tube. So the actual focal spot size will decrease slightly. Ano, anong nang Okay, so remember the actual and the effective focal spot size. So, the actual focal spot size will decrease slightly with an increase in KVP. So, yung sinabi natin kanina kasi, this is more on the change of MA. So, um, focal spot size is the factor in producing high-quality radiograph. Therefore, when there is focal spot blooming, caused by high tube currents may affect the radiograph adversely. So, hindi na maganda yung detail oh, ng image na maproproduce ng X-ray photons. So, focal spot blooming can be reduced by lower MA and higher KVP settings. Kaya, tipid-tipid tayo sa current ng ating nilalagay sa X-ray tube ini-input sa ating operating console. The best pa din yung lower MA and high KVP settings. Okay? So, what else? After the focal spot blooming, of course, we now come to exposure time. So, again, MAS is a combination of milliampere and exposure time. So, Mas maganda pa nga raw yung technical factor kasi may time. Samantalang siya, wala. So, exposure time is the technical factor that sets the length of time for an exposure. Pagkaaway mo yung pasyente, pwede mo yung pahabaan yung exposure time. Ma'am, gihinga lang malalim, ginawa halarom, utok, mga 5 minutes, kay ginset ko an aton exposure time to 5 minutes. Pero, pero class ha, no, no yan ha. Ako lang nang sasabi niyan kasi maldito ako. Balitaw. So, our purpose is also, okay, this is, the time is a factor that controls the length of exposure. Not just all about the radiograph, uh, I mean, the radiation protection, sabi nga natin noon, di ba, the, the lowest possible exposure time will lead to the greater radiation protection. But our concern here in the principles of imaging is when we reduce exposure time, we reduce or we absolutely eliminate the possibility of blurring the image. So, mas maganda yung maproproduce na image if minimum yung exposure time. Actually, that is set to millisecond. So, uh, ano ba to? Ba't ayaw niya? Okay. So, time, like MA, has no effect on the penetrating ability of the photons. Wala siyang pakialam sa energy ng photon. So, it is considered quantitative factor. Short exposure times are necessary to prevent body motion. Yung sinasabi ko kanina, para walang movement, para walang blurring, so we have to minimize our exposure time. So longer exposures increase the risk of motion which detrimental which is detrimental to film quality. Kasi kung may movement, di ba? Uh, for example, um you are a you are capturing an event, di ba? Pag may movement, nagblurred, so hindi na maganda yung parang may mga ghost sa images mo, di ba? Parang ikaw lang ginost niya. So, ganun. So, we have to minimize our exposure time para mas maganda yung resolution ng image. Ganda yung detail. Yun. Okay? Kaya, isa sa mga um, ginagawa ng RadTech 
para ma-prevent yung blurring, of course, ano, yung ginagawa natin? So, we have to um, suspend the expiration. Hinawa larom, gawas ang hangin, okay, otok, okay, gin so suspend na to, meaning, ginpapautok ang pasyente. That is, in one way, to minimize the motion. But, as part of the technical factor adjustment, pwede mo yung gawin, pwede yung mahabol via reducing or minimizing our exposure time. Okay, so again, uh, MAS is a combination of MA and exposure time. So once the radiographer understands the basic concepts related to MA and time, so the fact are combined as MAS and recognized as a single quantitative factor. So an increase in MAS increases the amount of X-ray photons exposing the film. So this is the formula for MAS. So MAS equals MA times exposure time. Parang triangle lang yan, class. Kasi mahilig tayo sa love triangle. So, M-A-S, M-A, tapos time. Okay. So, if you are looking for uh, M-A-S, so multiply mo lang. M-A times time. If you are looking for M-A, so divide mo. M-A-S divided by the exposure time. And if you are looking for the exposure time, divide mo lang. M-A divided by uh, MAS divided by MA. Okay? So, gamitin mo lang again yung triangle. Dere, klaro. Yan. Triangle. So, MAS. So, pag hinahanap mo MAS, multiply MA and exposure time. Oops. Pag hinahanap mo si MA, divide mo lang MAS divided by exposure time. Pag hinahanap mo si exposure time, divide mo MAS divided by MA. Okay, so much for that. Okay, so ito yung mga paborito nyong part ng aking discussion. So, we have a simple problem. O, oh, simple lang ha, hindi ko sinabing sample. A simple problem. So, get um, scratch paper, of course, ball pen or pencil, so we will answer this problem. So, a particular examination requires values of 72 kVp and 60 MAS. So, determine the exposure time in millisecond if the technologist selects 250 MA. So, ito yung MAS. Ito naman yung MA again. So, uh, let's use the triangle. So, MAS. If you are looking for MAS, multiply mo MA and exposure time. So, our problem, so we are going to find for the exposure time. Diba? So, using the triangle, so we have to divide MAS divided by MA. So, let's substitute 60 MAS divided by 250 MA. So, cancel mo yung MA. Sige nga. Calculator. 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 You can see in the right side of your screen is our calculator. So, 60 divided by, okay, so 250. Our answer is, uh, charan, 200, uh, 0. 200, 0 0.24 m uh, uh, second. So, exit muna si calculator. Thank you so much, calculator. So, 0 point, 0 0.24. So, yung problem natin is we have to find in terms of uh, ano tawag dito? Determine the exposure time in millisecond. Milli, di ba? 1,000. 1,000. So, let's move our decimal point. Makapera, makatulo. So, 1, 2, 
and 3. So, lagyan natin ng 0. So, meaning, our answer is letter A. 240 millisecond. Pakiana naman ha, kung may problema or may concern. Kay bangin pagparisite naman, dere makabaro naman. Kung ginaano, maubay ito, dere maupay, napamatasan. Sabi na kung po post pa Facebook na dire na pakian. Char. Joke. Okay, sige. Let's move on. So, the MA and time relationship is inversely proportional. Okay? So, maugod talaga ito, class. Kung ka mo mag, mag-jowa, kailangan usa mapaubos. Kailangan, kung usa di habaw-baw, usa mapaubos. Dere daw mag enjoy Charot. So, because MAS is considered as one value in selection of exposure factors, the two factors relate to one another inversely. This means that an increase in MA requires a decrease in exposure time. Especially, when our concern is the quality of the image. So, ewan ko lang kung sinulat ko dito sa next slide. Ayun. So, this is what we call the reciprocity law. So, uh, naging pangit yung appearance ng ating slide. Actually, class, this is MA1 over MA2. Kasi inversely nga, so, ano no, MA2. So, yung partner ni MA2, kailangan nasa taas. Exposure time 2 over exposure time 1. Diba? Kung nasa ibabaw yung isa, of course, kailangan nasa, ano no, nasa itaas yung isa. Ano ba? Parang alam ko, yung, okay, pag nasa top yung isa, nasa bottom naman yung isa. O diba? Mas nakaintindi sila. Okay, so, pag nasa ibabaw yung isa, nasa ilalim yung isa. Oo. So, ikaw, ano ka, top or bottom? Charot! Okay, so, let's... Actually, tinatawag again itong reciprocity law. Mm -hmm. Sige daw, if may further explanation pa siya. So, the reciprocity law or the formula is expressed um, or described by late Arthur Fox. So, the reciprocity law states that blackening on the film remains constant, remains the same as long as the total energy exposing the film is constant. Nag-increase ka ng K, na, KVP ng MA, decrease ka naman ng time. So, in other way around, it creates a constant optical density, a constant blackening on the film. So, nag-iiba ng... Uh, nag Nag-iiba ng MA and time, pero yung result is nagiging the same yung MAS. That is that's how reciprocity law works. So, proper calibration of the equipment is necessary to produce dependable results when time and or MA changes must be made. Fast film screen systems such as rare earth would also affect the result. So, yun ha. Remember the reciprocity law? Again, MA1 over MA2, that is equivalent to or is equal to exposure time 2 over exposure time 1. Okay, so the MA relationship or MA time relationship as described by reciprocity law fails with screen exposures of less than 10 milliseconds and or more than 6 or 7 seconds. Oh, may, may, meron pa lang mga jargons. May, may mga drawbacks pala, no? So, fa, pag lower ng 10 milliseconds or more than 10, uh, 6 to 7 seconds, hindi na masyadong applicable si reciprocity law. Okay? Sige, let's try this exercise again. Simple exercise. So, an exposure was selected using 150 mA. A combined with a time of 200 millisecond. So, what time adjustment would be made to maintain the uh, same optical density if the MA is increased to 300? Okay? So, again, 
parang lasing yung nagbasa ulitin natin an exposure was selected using 150 ma combined with a time of 200 millisecond so what time adjustment would be made to maintain the same optical density if ma is increased to 300 so wag na lang kaya tayong mag-change ng let's not convert na lang the time to second kasi yung mga choices puro namang millisecond no so let's fix to uh, remain to uh, millisecond so again our formula reciprocity law m law reciprocity law ma1 over ma2 Okay, exposure time 2 over exposure time 1. So, hanapin natin dito si exposure time 2. Of course, yung partner niya should be nasa ibaba. MA2, MA1, tapos dito si S1. Okay, so substitute natin. Exposure time 1 is 200, okay, 200 millisecond. Saan ko ilalagay? Wala na akong masulatan. Haller, haller, haller. Wala na akong masulatan. So, dito na lang. 200 millisecond. Tapos, yung unang MA is 150. Tapos, yung pangalawang MA is 300. So, unang natin gagawin is we have to kahirap ang ating sitwasyon ngayon. Una natin gagawin is, we have to divide the uh, MA. So, 150 MA divided by 300 MA. So, that is 0 0.5 M, uh, cancel na yung MA. Ano? Kasi division. So, now we have to multiply that to 200 uh, millisecond so equals okay charan our answer is 100 millisecond okay so if you get the same answer or um, yes of course the same answer of course you are correct palakpakan natin ang sarili natin okay so if you have questions again do not hesitate alam na class ha okay so let's move on Buti pa yung topic natin nagmo-move on samantalang ako, ako na lang, hindi pa. Ah, may mga ganong bagay. Okay, now let's come to KVP and MAS relationship. Buti pa pala si KVP at MAS may relationship samantalang ako wala. So, when adjustment of the technique factors is necessary, a decrease in KVP must be compensated for an increase in milliampere second and vice versa. Okay, remember class that KVP is, again, an affecting factor for optical density. And MAS is definitely the controlling factor for optical density. Mag-increase ka na ng KVP, mag increase ka pa ng MAS. Nako, sunog graphy. Mag-pipili, mag na, lambong na ito. Papakaunan na ito ni Dr. Ito mo x-ray film. Marunong ko ba kumain ng plaka kasi sunog yung x-ray mo kainin mo yan, di ba? maraot pa mati on so again, when an adjustment of the technique factors is necessary a decrease in KVP can be compensated for an increase in milliampere second di mo po siya pwede increase nga duha sonography, di rin, pwede ni mo i-decrease nga duha, hilaw masyadong alanganin ito mo image so the general rule for the MAS and KVP relationship is, ito, tandaan nyo yan klasa again, kutub ka arog ni yung aradtek kun magpaarog ka rad te kahit iba nagpupropost na nga magsishift na okay tingnan natin kung mabawasan tayo by next semester okay so a decrease in KVP by 15% may be compensated for by doubling the MAS or an increase in KVP by 15% may be compensated for by decreasing the MAS by only half or in other way around, to maintain the density while raising the contrast. So the original KVP should be increased by 15%. So original KVP times 0.15. Okay. So yun. Yung, uh, ito, yung product mo, when you multiply the original KVP by 0.15, yun yung i-add mo sa original KVP. And MAS is divided by 2. 
and to maintain density while decreasing the contrast so the original kvp times 0.15 so yung uh, tawag niyan quotient when you divide the i don't know uh, wow the quotient <laughs> Or, or the product, I mean, the product of KVP, the KVP, original KVP multiplied by 0.15, yun yung ididact mo sa original KVP. So, the MAS is multiplied by 2. Okay? So, in, increase ka ng KVP by 15%, pero yung MAS naman, divide by 2. Nag-decrease ka ng KVP by 15%, MAS naman, multiplied by 2. Oo. Oh, oh. He must increase. Uh oh, I must decrease. He must increase. I must decrease. So, moral lesson, hindi lahat ng pagkakataon, di ba, tayo ay dapat mag, uh, nasa itaas. Kailangan magpakumbaba naman tayo. Oh, di ba? Yun pala yung mga moral lesson ng KVP at MAS relationship. May ganun. Okay, so when using these practical rules, it must be understood that increase in MAS do not result in increase the penetration of the X-ray beam. Therefore, an increase in MAS cannot compensate for inadequate KVP selection. Okay. Kilo voltage selection that are too high do not produce over penetration. So, to penetrate means break through the object. Therefore, the X-ray photons that hit an object and pass on through have penetrated the object. Pero wala tayong term dito na over penetration. When your film is so um, is too much black, diba? black is beautiful but too much black is charcoal. So, yung term natin dito is overexposure. If sufficient energy is not present, the photon weakens and becomes absorbed by the object. Either the part is adequately penetrated by the X-ray photons or other penetration is present. If the amount of blackening on the film is excessive, so it has been overexposed. Okay, so let's try this simple problem. So if the milliampere was reduced to or from 200 to 100, so, nag-divide ka ng uh, MAS by 2. So, what is the counterpart uh, adjustment sa KVP? Should be, dapat mag-increase tayo ng KVP by 15%. Tama ba? So, the kilo voltage could be increased to maintain the same optical density from 75 to blank. You can see in the right side of your monitor. So, again, kukunin natin yung uh, 15% ng 75. 75 times 0 0.15. So, that is equivalent to 11.25. So, yung 11.25, di ba? Kasi nag-decrease tayo ng MA. From 200, naging 100. So, the technical adjustment for KVP is to increase the KVP by 15%. Therefore, the 15% the, the of 75 is 11.25. So, i-add natin dyan sa original KVP, which is 75. So, more or less, our new KVP is letter D. So, that is 86 KVP. Okay, very good. Ang galing talaga ng mga BSRT2. Palakpakan. Okay, so that ends my discussion for today. And I will give a um, chapter test next week. So be ready. And if you have concerns, again, you may reach me through different platforms. So this has been your professor, your instructor, your teacher, your friend, your vlogger, ano-ano pa, pero kayo pa rin naman yung boss namin, char. So, thank you so much for listening. I hope may natutuhan na naman kayo sa ating lecture na ito. So, keep safe guys and good luck. Goodbye!